infiltrator proof. We call it the infiltrator because the way we're going to go about this proof is we're going to proof angle two is congruent to angle three. We're, we're going to work outside in. We're going to start an outside triangle and work our way in. So go ahead and write in the given. Mark up your picture as well. Outside in. So if you were just looking at the outside triangle and you saw angle one and angle four congruent, what logical step could you make as far as what kind of triangle this is? Say isosceles. It's an isosceles triangle because it has congruent base angles. So my next logical step is to say what's congruent to what? Think this big outside triangle. You got AC congruent to BC. Okay, so that's our next step. AC is congruent to BC. And it's isosceles triangle theorem, but it's the converse of it because we knew the angles and we're saying the sides are congruent. So converse of isosceles triangle. So I saw the big outside triangle was isosceles, so I'm beginning my work outside of the end. Now, we kind of work our way in a little bit more and start looking at the triangles. What do you notice about them? They're congruent. Good job. Why? Side, angle, side. Look at these two triangles on the outside as I work my way in. Purple triangle congruent to purple triangle because of side, angle, side. ACX, BCY. <coughs> Our favorite step after triangle congruence is usually what? CPCTC. And it goes with our theme of working our way in. So we're all the way to this segment and this segment. And we can say CY is congruent to CX because of CPCTC. It's just two parts of the triangles, and we're working our way in. So I'm going to say CX congruent to CY by CP. said the sides are congruent now. So what kind of triangle is the inside triangle? It's an isosceles. So if I have an isosceles triangle where these sides are congruent, is that enough to say the angles are congruent? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. So angle two, congruent to angle three. In this particular case, I knew that the sides were congruent and made the conclusion that the angles were. So that's just straight up isosceles triangle theorem. <coughs> 